here's what you should be writing down is if I'm not making a hundred grand a month from Gator, I'm doing something wrong. You should be holding yourself accountable that that's your number and that and you need to give yourself permission to do that. Cause you got a mindset issue, right? And then everybody teaches you be humble. You shouldn't be lustful. You shouldn't be this. You shouldn't be that. You shouldn't desire to have all these things. Yes, you should. Hundreds of dollars helps hundreds of people. Thousands that's of dollars right. makes yeah. helps thousands of people. Millions of dollars helps millions of people. So if you guys want to help a lot of people, you ain't going to do it broke. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. This is Pace Morby, as you already know, but you don't know that we've got a gentleman named Rob Seema on the show today. Rob Seema, he's known in the Gator tribe and the Sub2 community as a major, major leader. Today, we're going to talk about Gator method. Today, we're going to talk about how you guys can work with Rob Seema to make some money because you guys are probably DMing me in Instagram and saying, Pace, I need help with Gator. Who can help me? And I would say, watch this episode, connect with Rob Seema. Rob Seema's got money to lend. He knows people that have money to lend. So let's get into it. Rob, what's up, brother? How are you doing? What's up, Pace? Thanks for having me. Of course. Appreciate Thank it. you for coming over here. Sunday morning, Sunday you morning. come over here and hang out. That means uh, you're not from around here. Where are you from? Um, well, originally I'm from Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. but our whole family relocated to San Antonio. San Antonio? How does your wife think about Texas. that? Well, she, we gives, brought, she gives us the thumbs up. We brought her whole family down with us. Really? Yeah, her parents came down. Uh, she has a brother and you know wife and kids that already live there. And after we moved down, we're like, you know what? I miss my side of the family. Mm -hmm. So my parents moved down. Damn. And then I have two other brothers. You guys who, are like modern day pioneers. <laughs> yeah, and then two brothers with their wives moved down. So like my whole family pretty much is in San Antonio now. Very cool. So um, Rob, you have a you have an ongoing podcast slash Zoom that you do to help people, especially in the Gator Tribe, which I pr appreciate so much. Yeah. Um, let me tell you guys what a leader is in my my definition. A leader is somebody who sees a need that would help a lot of people, and instead of asking for permission, they just do it. Right. Um, you guys know Dan Quijano. You know Tanisha. You know Keston. You know a lot of these people that just go, "What can I do to serve?" They don't ask. They just see and they do. That's a leader, right? Somebody that's not asking for permission. Um, Stephen Covey, you know Stephen Covey? Yeah. Legend, right? What, what's, what's his thing? Seven habits of a highly successful person? Is it seven? Highly effective, yeah. Highly effective. I have um, 52 habits that make me mildly successful. <laughs> um, but one, this is what he, he wrote another whole excerpt. It was not in that book, but he wrote another thing talking about the lowest form the lowest form of a business person is somebody who sits around and waits for permission. Mm. It's the lowest form of responsibility. Yeah. The highest form of responsibility is somebody who sees the landscape, sees what's going on, and goes, oh, there's an opportunity. So tell me about that. What are you doing in the Gator world? What did you see as an opportunity? What are you trying to do to, to bring value to people? I mean, there's lots of questions and lots of um, hesitation. Um, and a lot of it, you know, a lot of it has to do with... Um, how do I find these deals? Mm -hmm. How do I talk to people? Um, and not only that whole deal finding thing, but also permission. Like people are afraid to insert themselves into deals thinking yeah. like maybe they don't contribute anything other than money. But that's an important thing. <laughs> you know, like, hey, I'm just <laughs> throwing is, money on this. This is so I? good. <laughs> People's limiting beliefs are so powerful. And Kihano and I were talking about this earlier today, just talking about all the things that your early formative years train you to be like put in a box. And then when you come to the table, you see all these people finding and hustling to find a deal and the other people are going and hustling to find a buyer and you're coming in and all you're doing is putting money in and getting money out. You're like, uh, what did I bring to this situation? I didn't do anything. I just wired something. I paid $25 to do it and then I made a ton of money off of it. Okay, great. But that's like uh, what somebody goes and builds a vehicle right? They design, they get engineers to design these vehicles and these engines and the belts and the tires and the axles and the cloth. And what type of cloth do we need to utilize for the seats so people don't wear it out? What kind of material do we want on the, on the steering wheel? All of the technology that's involved in the car and then designing and putting the car together itself. Yeah. And then somebody has to take that car that hundreds of people had to engineer, right. build, manufacture, ship, and then somebody has to go and find a buyer for that in order for that car to actually be valuable. Right. But guess what? The one thing that you're missing in this entire equation is the fuel for the car. Mm, good. So does a gas station 
come along and say, I, have, I bring no value to the vehicle world. When somebody in the Gator world says to me, I don't know that I bring value, how can I bring, make so much money in short, such a short amount of time? Look at gas stations. You pass four of them on a four-way stop in the middle of your, your metro area. Those guys know their value. You are the fuel to the transaction. Without the fuel, everything that everybody did before you and did after you is for naught. A car is a car. It's basically a hunk of metal without fuel. And the same thing with the real estate transaction. Without earnest money, without double closing, without funds, it sits there and dies. And we had somebody the other day, um, actually, um, thanks to you, she had actually felt compelled and um, she moved forward on a transaction. She said, I put my money in at 10 o'clock on a yep. transaction. I got my money at, back at 6 p.m. the same day yep. and I made $16,000. Yeah. And she's like, I felt like I robbed people. I was like, interesting. Do you think gas stations feel like they rob you or they feel like they provide a, a, str a strong uh, value? And she goes, wow, I never thought about it that way. I was talking to someone at the premiere last night. It was her first deal. She funded um, a portfolio deal. Damn. 50K was the EMD. Okay. She wired it same day and got it back like a week later and doubled her money. 50 grand in one week. Yeah. 50 Gs and she in was like, I, have, I didn't do anything. She didn't even find the deal. It was another gator that brought her the deal. That's what I'm saying for the people that have this limited belief. The gas stations didn't develop the car, engineer the car, manufacture the car. They brought one service to the table and they make money on it, right? In a, in a matter of 10 seconds. So um, gator method is pretty gangster, isn't it? Oh, we're just starting. I know. We're just starting. I know. I, my, here's my biggest thing. So now that I've got you face to face, I, I don't share any of my visions with anybody on gator because nobody understands me. Mm. But I see, I think you see the vision, which is why you're like jumping in on it. So Gator, what people misunderstand is that Gator is not just EMD, right? right? You know this, there's five parts to Gator, at least as far as I've created it so far. And the first part is EMD transactions. Second part is double closes. Mm -hmm. Third part is starting to sponsor other people's deals by utilizing yeah. your name and your credit. I do that a lot. I actually do that more than I do other things. Uh, fourth part is actually wrestling and bringing other people's money to the table. So you start raising capital and there's anyway, there's a whole bunch of other amazing and powerful things you can do with Gator, but the community inside of the inside of Gator is not ready for all that training yet, which is why I have a five year plan with Gator to be able to pour in energy and training and all sorts of amazing stuff. So the people that got in six, seven months ago are freaking lucky. Yeah. So freaking lucky. We're blessed. We love it. Bro, I'm blessed to have you, man. So um, if let's say that I'm out on YouTube land and I'm like, okay, well, I can't get into Gator because we close it down every six months, right? We close it and then we reopen it back up every six months or so. And they want to work with you. They want to bring money to the table and go, dude, I got a line of credit or I got this or I got whatever. How can people get a hold of you and what can you bring to the table in terms of um, value to somebody that's out there in La La Land, YouTube land? Yeah, so um, my handle everywhere is at the Rob Sema, mm -hmm. pretty much on every Did social. somebody steal Rob Sema? There's a lot of Rob Semas. I've only, I only know one Rob but Sema. But I am the Rob Sema Hell everywhere. yeah. Hell yeah. He's <laughs> the Rob. Does your wife call you the Rob Sema at home? She does not call me that, no. Or does she call you the daddy? Um, no. Is that he? Is that the thing? It's with Izzy, okay. Honey. Honey. We call each other honey. Honey? Is that a Romanian thing? She doesn't speak. Rob, Rob married a, a Romanian, right? She, yes. Romanians don't speak English, so apparently she doesn't want to talk to us. Um, okay, so... Beautiful uh, European girl. Yes, she is. She's amazing. Um, she told me her age, and I was like, what are you talking about? I was literally asking you guys, like, are you guys going to have more babies? Like, you were 21 years old. It's amazing. Okay, so the Rob Sema on Instagram. What about YouTube? The Rob Sema. They stole that on YouTube too? I am the Rob Sema everywhere there is okay, love anything it. going on. I love it because here's what I suggest for branding wise for a lot of people is if you're going to have Pace Morby on Instagram, have Pace Morby on YouTube. Yeah. Not like the creative finance, the creative Pace. It's like, dude, just brand your name. Right. Right? I freaking love it. And I love that you said the Rob Sema. Just so you could tell all the other Rob Sema's like, I'm the Rob Sema. Kiss my ass. <laughs> okay, so people know where to find you now. Yeah. There, do you actually answer your DMs? I am super active on Facebook and Instagram and in the Gator community in Discord. Okay. Pretty much anyone can reach me on Discord, but um, those are my preferred media channels. Okay, cool. So somebody, let's say I, I'm, 
I'm somebody I can't get into Gator. I am like, yo, this Gator, I watch it on Pace's YouTube. I watch content that Rob is putting together. I know that I want to get into the game. So they have a line of credit, let's say hypothetically, or a credit card or whatever. Yeah. Can somebody come to you and work with you on deals? Can they work with you on funding? What, what can people do with you? Um, they can do almost anything with me, whether it's bringing deals that they need help closing, mm -hmm. uh, leads that they need help comping and underwriting, um, whether they Bro, have... Bro, have, have you thought about having your wife become a transaction coordinator for like Gator stuff? Or she, she doesn't want to do anything but be a, be a hot mama? She is a hot mama. Yeah. And she's doing her own thing. Oh, you're doing your own thing. What are you doing? She's a naturopathic nurse. Oh, okay. You're definitely not going to be a transaction coordinator. Okay. Got no. it. That explains <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. She's a nurse. Little, uh, little Nurse Donna. That's her Instagram handle. Little Nurse Donna on Instagram? Yeah. I love that. You're not going to do the Little Nurse Donna? <laughs> <laughs> the with two E's. Okay. So um, speaking of Gator. Talking about the, the future of that tribe, what do you believe we need to bring to the table in terms of future training, future value to fill in the gaps and continue to grow the education to another level there? What do you feel like we're missing? Um, so I think what you're bringing to the table, like that once a month pace focused training, that mm -hmm. is that visionary type of yeah, big yeah. goal picture is fantastic. Um, of course, everybody wants more of that, right? but that's not necessary right now. Right now, what we need is, so I have Gator Tank, which is kind of like a, a publicly facing um, arm of this, and we're hoping to get, you know, Astro and why are you DTP. Why are you not getting paid an affiliate? Um, great question. We'll work on that. No, we're going to fix that right now. Hold on a second. Guys, live, this is how you fix this. This man should be getting paid for, for putting exposure out there and showing people how to go out and make money. Let's figure this out. Okay. You haven't talked to Cody about this? No, sir. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep talking. So we okay. have that gator tank. That's that public facing thing where we're um, open to having people come in and pitch hold on, hold deals. On. Hey, Cody, bro, let's get Rob Seam on as an affiliate for gator, please, for his gator tank stuff. I want to make sure that the pe here's what we should do, because we close, you know, we closed the gator stuff out. Like the first time I launched gator 1.0, I, I closed it out for like eight months. Yeah. And uh, a couple of people trickled in and here and there. But then we just recently reopened it, and we're currently in the process of closing it again. Cody, can we make sure that the only people that can get into Gator during our close down things are people that go through Rob Sema's channel and Rob Sema's uh, Gator Tank? Yeah. Okay. We'll get let's get uh, let's get Rob Sema his own link so people can get in through his like his access. Thanks. So that's the, the public facing. And we're, we're hoping to grow it to the point where it's, it's got that same like shark tank feel where mm -hmm. people are coming in, pitching deals that they need yes. funding for. Mm. Um, now, so last week I did my first ever gator only uh, gator tank, right? And the purpose behind that was to sort of talk about, there's a lot of questions about contracts. Did you, did you, and, did you collaborate with Molly yet? Um, Molly's a very hard person to get a hold okay, of. Okay, so here's what I did with Molly about a month ago. This is great. I'm glad we're having this conversation because this will even posture you even bigger and like make you make sure you're even bigger than what you currently are and where you're he headed. So I called Molly about a month ago and I said, hey, I'm traveling heavy for the next month. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm traveling heavy for the next month. But when I get back, which is now today's my first day, like I don't have anything on my calendar for 30 days because I cleared my whole calendar for this, this other thing I'm doing. But it's all going to be here. And I said, Molly, here's what I want you to do is every other week, I want you to pick out a leader inside of Gator, and I want you to do like a, a Gator deal or no deal type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing Gator Tank, which is smart. I love it. I wonder if you and Molly can collaborate on that and do that yeah. together. So Molly can talk through and bring out, she's going to bring Allison on to talk about the paperwork side of things. So if somebody comes in and goes, hey, Rob, I've got a co cool deal. You and, Al you and Molly are running this together. If you want, if you don't want to, you can do it maybe every other opposing week. So like there's a training or a deal or no deal every other week or every week. Molly's going to do it every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Arizona time for two hours where people come in and pitch. And then my transaction coordinator is going to come in on Saturdays for the Gators and talk to them about how to do the paperwork properly and walk them through their actual paperwork. Awesome. So if you want to collaborate on that. Yeah. I, I will put to. I will put you and Molly together. If you don't want to collaborate on that and you just want to do your own thing, I understand. Are you how frequently are you doing that? Gator Tank? Uh-huh. Once a week. Once a week. Okay, so you're already doing it once a week. 
I wonder if we br if I had Molly come in on the paperwork side of things every other week with you, or if I have Allison there with you just as like a co-host where she's not necessarily talking, she just steps in when you go, well, I don't know how you would actually structure that because of blah, 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 and you could actually have Allison chime in and be like yeah. your co-host. Yeah, I would love that, and I, I've i reached out to Molly before, and invitation's open. I'm happy to work with her. Okay, cool. That'd I think you. she sent me an email about it. She's like, hey, what does this guy want? That's what she's always <laughs> saying. She just, you guys just haven't been introduced properly. No, that's not true. I've talked to Molly about assisted living. But I mean, like in this context. Not in Gator Tank. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and in the context of Rob bringing a lot of value inside of the Gator tribe and, and how we can collaborate with Rob on his rise to, you know, a higher exposure and value leader. So uh, what I was talking about earlier was uh, I did that first like Gator inward focusing mm -hmm. uh, Zoom and I got a lot of great feedback from that. We were talking about like what can the tr what does the community need? And so um, a lot of the feedback was like, hey, Rob, I don't know how to find a deal. Mm -hmm. Like I have money, but I don't know where to source deals. I don't know how to call title companies or wholesalers. I don't know how to talk to them. Yeah. So we're going to try to do something like uh, Daniel Quijana does, where it's like kind of daily dial type thing, practicing, teaching how to do stuff. Love it. Um, an hour a day. I don't think it takes a lot of time, you know, but if we're consistent and people have a place where they can go, you know, a lot of the a lot of the questions are also contract related. So I'm sure Molly is going to help a lot in that. We yeah, we, we we I definitely saw the lack of like when I so Cody wanted to launch well before the holidays. Right. And I go, I think we should launch when I'm done traveling so I can actually be there a lot more. Like I was in the very beginning when we launched the first time, I was like seven, eight weeks in a row. I was there like every weekend or skipped a weekend here and there. And um, now I'll be there a lot more frequently for the visionary side of things. And then also bringing in like the Sean St. Clair's and contract attorneys and stuff like that. But <clears throat> the thing that we're definitely missing is some daily activity because most people just go, lead me. And I'll do the actions, but I need somebody to tell me what those actions are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, that would be sick. But you got to make sure that you're going to make money from this. I have to learn how to do that better. Okay. So uh, the way I would suggest you do that is that um, every time you open up one of these trainings, you say, my intention here is to help you so that we can do deals together. Okay. So when you guys bring deals to the table, my intention is I will help you. As long as the expectation is that you are going to bring me in on the deal so I can help you walk through it. Got it. Yeah. I, I've found that that's an area I need to improve on. Yes, because you're the pro here's the no. biggest problem with like the sub two community is that we're all go givers. Mm -hmm. And so we want to give and give and give and give freely. And it's a great feeling. But at some point you wake up three, four months later, and you're like, holy crap, I'm doing a lot of work for no money. Yeah. And then you go you go and see somebody you just helped go make fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars in seven days. And you're like, uh, it would be so nice to have five thousand of that. Yeah. You know, so what I would be doing is saying, hey, look, guys, I'll help you with the upfront expectation that there's 10, 20, 30 percent of this, depending on my level of involvement, where I could walk you through it. I could oversee it. Um, you know, Caleb Christopher does that really well inside of sub two. Yeah. And there's other leaders inside of sub two that does do the same thing. I would make sure that every training you do, you start and finish with that expectation. It's good. Verbalize it. Write it down. Yeah, Tell I, people. I haven't done that up until now. No, you have not done that up until now. But the hot mama nurse, is she believes in you. What's her Instagram name again? Little Nurse Donna. Oh, not hot mama nurse. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's thinking about changing it. <laughs> okay, that's, that's freaking great. So the, what's fun about this industry and this like little thing that we've put together is I get a call from Jerry Norton. He's like, bro, where has this been my whole life? This is crazy. And I go, I think a lot of people are actually doing this. They've been doing it for mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. It's just that it's the more wealthy people that are super connected where you're ca calling your uncle, you're calling somebody in your... Like, it's not that I invented it. It's that I branded it, formalized it, and now we're streamlining it and, and making it available to the masses. What's amazing is for the Gators right now, there is nobody doing it except for the Gators. Yeah. And then even inside the Gators, what I find is currently, which you're going to help fix this um, by making money, you're going to help fix this by um, helping people out. But the biggest problem is people come into something and they, even though there's training on how to find deals, there's a whole two hour training on how to find deals. Right. But what if I go, all right, guys, this is where you find deals. Go here, go here, go here, call a title company. 
And everybody goes, wow, I never thought of that. That's so genius. It's amazing. And they have this epiphany where their mind opens up. And then two hours later, they go, okay, but can you please show me? Can you do it for me? Can you do it for me? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Um, I think most people are trained from a young age to be a nine to five person, me included, where it's like, you sit here and you do what you're told and we'll train you on what we want you to do. And so when they come out to be a business owner, they're sitting there going, well, can somebody literally just tell me and show me exactly what to do? Like, can somebody fly to my house, knock on my door, walk in my house, have breakfast with me, and then pick up my phone for me and say, this is how you do it. And then I, I will be able to do it. I mean, you're already doing it. Can you just make the call for me? Ex that's basically it. <laughs> okay. So, um, but short of going to that extent... I think doing a daily, you know, one hour thing of showing people like, hey, guys, this is, it's not that hard. The hardest part is just picking up the phone. Right. And then the second hardest part is having the confidence that what you know to say is the right thing to say. Mm. Right. Yeah, it's the same. Right. The right. other thing is like, they get a good deal and they go, should I jump into this? It's like, you're going to make 50 grand in seven days. You're going to double your money. Or you can go put your money in the stock market and make 6% this year. Mm -hmm. Or you can make 100% in seven days, which the annualized return of that deal that she did is probably a 40,000% return. Isn't that insane? Amazing. Holy shiznit, that's insane. But is, anyway, so the contract side of things, people are just unsure because it's new to them. Right. So somebody like you that comes into the game and goes, how can I help? How can I insert myself? You should be inserting yourself into 10, 15, 20 deals every single month, bro. You know what you should be asking? What Your, your wife's name is Donna, right? Yeah. Okay, Donna, you should be asking him on a weekly basis, how many deals did you get inserted into this week? Okay? Yes. Just keep him accountable. Because the problem with him is he's, he's, it's the same problem with me. He's a giver. He wants to give and give and give and give and give and give. And then you forget, hey, I've got a hot wife. I mean, he'll never forget that. But he's, got a, he's like, I forget that I got to bring home a ton of money. And the other thing, too, is like you... For, you should be making a hundred grand a month from helping people. Like legitimately, you should be able to make a hundred grand a month just by helping people in the Gator Tribe. Not only that, can I ask you a separate question? Yes. One thing that I'm I'm still working on putting together is so not only do I do a lot of uh, you know community work in the Gator program, yeah, but I'm also doing a lot of community work on the elephant side, yeah, and I'm still working out structure of like how can I combine these two communities in yeah, a yeah. way where it's beneficial for both communities and also now that i we're talking about it how is it beneficial for me okay so here's do you think that um when mcdonald's has like four or five signs on one building do you feel like when they put a six sign on there they're asking how is this beneficial to them no it's more exposure right more exposure here's here's the thing that's interesting think about this when i was a home investor we would spend $150,000 a month on billboard mm. advertisements. Do you know how many phone calls we got from $150,000 a month in billboard advertisements? A month? I don't know, maybe 10? What, what do you think? Ooh, you're getting, you're close. But you're 10 too, 10 too high. Really? Legitimately, nobody calls, wow. nobody calls on billboards anymore. Yeah. Why, true, why yeah. would we continue to spend $150,000 on billboards though? Your name's out there. Right. So how does that equate? Eyes. Eyes. I know, but I get that. But if nobody's going to call you on a billboard, how does that help you? It doesn't help because they're not calling, but it helps that they're familiar with who you are. But how? why do I care if somebody's familiar with me if, I, if they're not calling me? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's. I'm a blue-collar guy. If you don't give me the blueprints, I have a hard time building the house. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here's the blueprint. The blueprint is you do direct mail as well. You do PPC, you do uh, radio, you do other things. Here's what we found, okay? We would spend $100,000 on direct mail every single month. Okay. And we would get, let's say, 15,000 calls on direct mail. Okay. If we spent $0 on direct mail, I'm sorry, if we spent $150,000 on billboards, that number is 15,000 on the direct mail side. If we okay. spend zero dollars on billboards, that number goes down to three thousand calls on the direct mail side. Oh wow! So you're you're tag teaming them. The billboard recognition mm. 
makes it so people's subconscious goes home to their house and they see seven letters on their countertop of everybody that's doing direct mail and ours gets picked subconsciously because of the billboard they just saw. That is exposure. Yeah. Yeah, it's that it's that repetition of the name being put out. Right. There. What did Oreo say? Oreo came out and said uh, they ha had a study. They said somebody won't buy our cookie until the seventh time they see it. Mm. And now it, that was forty years ago, right? When it was first it first came out. Now it's more like seventy because you're everybody's being blasted all the time. You know, you go on social media, you see every influencer: Gary V, Grant Cardone, Pace Morby, Jamil, Brent. Da, 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 da. There's a sea of people. Yeah. So how do you gain exposure is inside of the elephant thing you, is, gives you another stage to get on so right. that the, uh, more gators know you, more elephants know you. Now, here's what's great about the elephants. The elephants is going to grow big. We yeah. have 7,000 people that are registered for this upcoming challenge this coming week. Bro, I'll bring, I'll bring you up as I'll, I'll go. Hey, it's multifamily. Everyone wants multifamily. I know. People are so funny about it, dude. People don't get it. They don't get y'all don't get it, do you? You don't get it. But um, Rob, so Rob, I'll bring you up as a leader. I'll bring you up on there and I'll say, look, this is this is the head gator. This guy will chomp your. Ass. He'll take a chunk. He'll take a chunk out of your deal, but he'll help you. Yeah, bring I'm happy to help. Bring your stuff to bring your stuff to Rob. He's happy to get paid to help. See what I did there? He's happy to get paid to get to help. He doesn't mean pay him up front. Mm -hmm. It means do the do have bring an opportunity to to Rob. He'll walk you through it but he wants to be your JV partner. So he's happy to get paid to help you get paid. All right. So um, on the gator, on the elephant side, I think that's first and foremost is that it's the billboard um, world. It's like, how can I get on more billboards without taking, if you're going to show up to the elephant challenge anyway, why not participate and um, help lead it a little bit? And I'll go, Hey guys, if you have a question about this, that, and the other, go to Rob. The other thing that you should be doing is you should be collaborating with, who should you be collaborating with in the, every month? Who should be your best friend? Not me. I don't know. Carly. Oh, I'm on, I'm on speed dial with Carly. Okay, great. Yeah, you... so I do elephant leader Zooms mm -hmm. once a week, and then I do gator tank Zooms. Um, and I'm trying to get a little bit ahead of the curve. I got uh, the uh, Myron and Carolyn coming out, both on my elephant Zoom and on my gator mm -hmm. Zoom. So. Okay, I love it. So um, with Car here's what I would be doing with Carly is um, ooh. if you're pulling out, let's say you're pulling out testimonials, like you see people winning and making money, like the $50,000 deal, you and Carly should be putting like videos together and talking about how like, hey, the Gator tribe this, the Gator tribe this, the Gator tribe this, we can help fund, we can help fund, we can help fund. And maybe you and Carly should even open up the elephant challenge where it's just you and her talking and saying, hey, we're gonna bring Pace up here in an hour, but we're just gonna sit here and answer questions. What do you guys, how can you guys get in touch with gators? That puts you in a pretty powerful situation. So let's say all the people in the elephant challenge are like, well, what's a gator? You and Carly should be doing that, like build up an hour before I show up, so that when I show up, everybody already knows who you are. And mm -hmm. you've answered the question of like, hey, there's gators, but I know all the gators. Sure. I'm the, I'm the head gator wrangler. I run a zoo. I run the zoo. Elephants and gators. Yeah, and just wait until we got <laughs> penguins and dolphins. Um, so I like that. I'm Rob Seema, the zookeeper. If you guys want access to blah, 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 I'm the guy that, that does a daily help for all the gators. So if you guys need access to gators, come to me. Make yourself the gatekeeper. Yeah, I can do that. Does that answer the question? Yes. This is how collaborating helps people. This is how having a conversation with people that are um, on the same wavelength as you can really help you guys out. I, here's the thing, Rob, will, I'm going to tell you, bro, if you don't have a goal to make a hundred grand a month from Gator and Elephant, I'm going to be, that should be your goal. You should, here's what you should be writing down in your iPhone app is if I'm not making a hundred grand a month from Gator, I'm doing something wrong. And it's not that I'm not working hard enough. It's that I'm not posturing. I'm not creating upfront agreements and I'm not putting expectations. And also you should be holding yourself accountable that that's your number and that, and you need to give yourself permission to do that because you got a mindset issue. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I don't deserve it. Or, um, I'm afraid you're afraid of success. Like what would you even do with a hundred thousand dollars a month? We would sponsor private schools. Oh, you wouldn't just go spend it. No. I mean, you spend a little bit. I'd spend a little bit of it, but... If I give you 100 grand right now to spend on anything, Donna, what would you want to go buy? Are there a pair of shoes, a dress, 
a, a watch, a, a, a vitamins. Is that what you said? Do they take vitamins or they just eat carrots? Okay, so you got to buy this girl a medicine cabinet. Okay, so you got to, my goal would be, how do I make enough money that, yes, you can go do some cool stuff with it, but how do you take care of um, your, this is what's cool about the environments that I create. I create an environment that everybody that helps each other should be able to, to posture themselves and make money. So if you have, if you don't have a goal of $100,000 a month, you're screwing up. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> And, and here's the thing, is if you make $100,000 a month, that means you've helped other people make probably four or $500,000 mm. that month. Does that make sense? That's been my disconnect. Like, I'm willing to help, but that that dollar sign attached to it mm -hmm. has been the disconnect where like... No, bro, you need to make money. I would even, I would even at the very beginning of your podcast in the Gator Tribe, as I would, and every every night when you're providing support there is I would be telling people, hey guys, my goal is to make 100 grand this month by helping you guys make half a million. And I hope it's more, but that's where I, my current mindset tells me is I can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about that one girl made 50, 50 grand. You do that five times, you do that 10 times in the month. How, how many gators do we have? Enough people to do that 10 times in a month? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. so you could- Easy a thousand gators. So could you help generate half a million dollars of income for other people in a 30 day period that you deserve to take 100,000 of that? I think so. I I I think so. Yes. The right? answer is yes. <laughs> All right. This was this was this was a good collaboration. I think we got some things done today. No, that's good. That's good stuff. So your your gator stuff is I'm going hungry. You are? For what? For money? For gators, yeah. Okay, love it. Um so stuff that's coming up in the gator world. I've got um a couple I've got some really cool relationships coming in that will do double closes. Um they'll do double closes for all the gators and not even need anybody's money at all. And they'll pay every gator. So a gator can go out and just go find double closes and go, I'll double close, I'll double close, I'll double close, I'll double close. And they can essentially white label the double closing. Wow. And somebody else brings the money, does the thing, and they get paid a point on it. Amazing. Yeah. So you go do a $300,000 close, a $400,000 close, a $500,000 close, you get paid four, five, six, seven thousand $7,000 just finding the deal. So you don't even need the line of credit. I mean, the line of credit's great, that mm -hmm. PCS. I, somebody just told me the other day they got a $300,000 line of credit from PCS, which was great. It's really good. But like, I, I, that's the next relationship I'm bringing to the table. I'm bringing Sean to the table to talk about if you do have the capital and your credit line is big enough to do the double closes, how do you technically do it? Um, and then the next wave, uh, and then I'm going to double down on bringing in Molly, bringing in Allison and the transaction coordination stuff. That sounds like fun. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. What else are we missing? Like in the Gator, what 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 else could help people? Because I feel like the training is phenomenal. You just need somebody to handhold them a little bit. Um, I think we're good. Boom. I think we're good. I think we got a lot of good material for the next six months. Easy. Okay, love it. And um, you guys live in San Antonio. Yeah. Full time. You're not in Portland, Oregon anymore. No longer in Portland. Full time in Texas. Okay, full time in Texas. But you can help people anywhere. All over the country. All over the country. Okay, so when are you? When is your um, Gator Tank? Are you live on YouTube? I'm an, I'm live on Zoom. It's a live Zoom I do every Tuesday. Night. But you do it for who? Um, f it's posted live. But where? Um, into the uh, creative. Oh, the Facebook free Facebook group. group? Yeah. Okay. The creative finance would pay more be Facebook group. And then okay. I take the recordings and I upload them to my YouTube. Dope. Okay, got it. I would I would suggest. That what are you going live with Zoom? Yes. Okay, you should go into Zoom and allow yourself to live stream simultaneously to YouTube so that you don't have to upload in the future. Okay. And then that way you have two live streams going on. You're more than welcome to to do all of that. The only thing that the only thing that you I I don't want you doing is obviously giving away contracts and giving away those types of things. Right. Obviously, um, but what you should also be doing, especially since we cut we there should be three things that you should be making money from. Okay, at least three things. Number one, it's obvious that there's probably people that join Gator just because of your trainings and your lives. You should be getting paid for that, right? Okay. If Cody's making a bunch of money on all that stuff, then you should be paying, getting a portion of that. The, and, and you should be proud of that, right? Because okay. the, Gator, the, the Gator product is a phenomenal product. Everybody else is teaching how do you wholesale and cold call. Right. 
It's very unique. It's very unique, and it's crazy chunks of money. It's 50 Gs in seven days, and the, mm. the lady felt guilty. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want, I want you to make so much money so fast that you feel guilty. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Damn, really? I, it doesn't tell you a mindset thing, too, of like when I was a painter, I'd have to go work my ass off 14 hours a day for three days straight to make a thousand bucks. I'm the same way. I'm an electrician, so you know the I'm game. Right down, I'm right down the same street. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, wait, hold on. I I grind out, and then not only do I grind out to or to do the job, but then I gotta beg the customer to pay their freaking bill. Hopefully, they pay like within 90 days. That'd yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so you come from a blue collar world. You think this is there's no way that I'm gonna make 50 grand in seven days and not have to beg people for my money. Meanwhile, it comes from a title company or it comes from wherever, and it's like the yeah. most secure way to get money. Or without feeling like it's shady. Exactly. Yeah. It's the most gangster. I think it's honestly the most gangster thing I've ever come up with. It really is. And I've come up with some cool stuff. And I'm, bro, I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful that you stepped in. I, you didn't call me. You didn't text me. You just said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show up in a big way. See a need and fill it. See a need and fill it. You're a leader. So... Um, what's funny is a guy like you that will help make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of pe for people will feel guilty making money off of it. Why is that? It's hilarious. You know why reason. it is. You tell me why it is. You know exactly why it is. I, I, I guess I... You want to know where guilt comes from, guys? Your religious background. You have a religious background? Yeah. Okay. God does make you feel guilty all the time. Kihano and I were just talking about this. God makes you feel guilty, and it's a good thing, especially when you're growing up, right? You need that, oh my gosh, should I be lighting a bag of on fire on somebody's doorstep? That's probably not a good idea. God would hate me for doing this, right? Mm -hmm. You need that stuff. You need that stuff when you're, you're a young man and you're dating a woman. You need to know that like, you need to be an honorable man. You need to marry that woman, have the babies, live an honorable life. You need that training. Yeah. But at yeah. some point, it's kind of like Dave Ramsey. At some point, you got to graduate past the Dave Ramsey, which is like, you want to make more money? Stop buying Starbucks. No coffee. Yeah. The no coffee method. At some point, you just got to make more money. Right. It's an income issue. It's an income issue, not yeah. a savings issue, right? And, and so same thing with God, like God and, and religion, at some point you got to abandon those beliefs, but they're so deep rooted into who you are because you were learning those from age zero all the way to like age now. Right. Right. And then everybody teaches you, be humble. You shouldn't be want, you shouldn't be lustful. You shouldn't be this. You shouldn't be that. You shouldn't desire to have all these things. Yes, you should. Hundreds of dollars helps hundreds of people. Thousands That's of right. dollars makes, yeah. helps thousands of people. Millions of dollars helps millions of people. So if you guys want to help a lot of people, you ain't going to do it broke. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? If your yeah. wife is worrying about a medicine cabinet, she's not worrying about helping a lot of people. It might be in her mind, like, I want to go do this, but also she's like, I really want this little thing. It's like, bro, you should be wasting 20, 30 grand a month on this woman. Might do. I you know what to. I'm saying? You deserve somebody to waste and, money you know, on you. One of the things that I, I've heard you say before that I kind of took and digested for myself was start with, don't start with necessarily income goals. Yeah. Start with like, here's how much I'm planning on giving this month. Yeah, here's yeah, yeah. how many people I want to help this month. And then make your income goals reach those. Yeah. You know, so overshoot in the amount of people you're wanting to help. Overshoot in the amount of services you're wanting to provide, whatever it is in whatever domain. And then make your income meet. Yeah, I mean, it, like what we did a little bit ago, reverse engineer. It's like if, if you could help a handful of people make half a million dollars this month by helping them and guiding them through this strategy, yeah. you, don't, you should be able to make 100 grand a month just from that. Yeah. Easy. Zookeeper, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Freaking love it. I'm pumped up. Are you pumped up? This is going to be fun. I'm gonna get, next time I have Kihano do the switcher board, I'm going to put a camera over there for switcher board number four, and I'm going to give you a mic so you can participate yes. in this conversation. 100%. Okay, that's happening. I love it. Um, Rob Seema, you're the man. The Rob Seema, you're the freaking the man. The Rob Seema, everywhere I am. Guys, uh, here's where you should, fi you should find Rob Seema. Number one, go to the Creative Finance with Pace Morby Facebook group. You'll see him go live there. You can also see him go live on YouTube. Essentially, what he's doing is he's training 
and helping people guide people through the Gator strategy, something that I created and we have a tribe going, um, private discord and uh, private training that happens a couple times a month. Rob and Molly, my operations manager, are going to amplify that training coming up and helping you guys make, bro, you'll make, you'll hit a point in the next 12 to 18 months where you'll help people inside of that tribe make a million dollars in one month. It might not happen this next 12 months, but I can guarantee you with compounding and breaking through your own mindset issues of like guilt of making money, mm. once you break, that's the funny thing is the game starts becoming about mindset rather than actually doing the job. Yes. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That's why yesterday in your, in your boot camp, you had to train people on how to face their, extract your fear and overcome it. 75% of his yeah. boot camp sales training yesterday was all about overcoming that fear. And people think it's hokey and silly, but then also those are the same people that are like, I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, because you need one, another one-liner. That's what you need. Yeah, You need another perfect line to say to a seller in the perfect situation. Your script's not good enough. Your script's not good enough. Yeah. That's a good training name, though. Yeah. Kihana, what's the name of your training? Oh, your script's not good enough. Um, guys, so you can find Rob Seema on his YouTube channel. Super proud of this man for being a leader. I, I look over at his wife, and his wife is super proud of him as well. Um, she's going to text him every single week and say, where's my medicine cabinet? And she's also going to say, where's my $100,000 that we need every month, bro? There's no reason you shouldn't be making hundred grand a month. Do we agree with this? The only, the only handicap is myself, and I need to get over it. Yes, I agree with that. And... Think about, uh, do you remember the lady's name that made the 50 grand? Um, yeah. What's her name? Cindy, First name? Cindy. Cindy. Okay, so Cindy makes 50 grand. She would have been more excited or just as excited or less excited if she made 40 grand in those 70 days or seven days. Oh, just as happy. Just as happy. So would you be, have been more happy or less happy if you made 10,000 of that? More happy for sure. <laughs> More happy. So taking you're not taking away any of their happiness, and you gave them sure you gave them assurance, you gave them support, you gave them confidence, you gave them somebody to call and reach out to. I'm not available. I'm not av I'm not going to be available. I'm just not available. I'm available to the sub two students, and I'm available to the Gator Tribe, probably four to eight hours a month. That's it. Yeah. And so the Gator Tribe really needs leaders like you to step up, and you deserve to make a ton of money. Sorry for cussing. I'm happy to do it. I'm not guilty about it, though. I don't feel guilty for cussing. I've overcome. Have you overcome that? I've overcome that. Okay, guys, overcome, overcome your lack of making money. Touch base with The Rob Seema on Instagram. Touch base with The Rob Seema on YouTube. Find him in our... YouTube or find him in our free Facebook group called Creative Finance with Pace Morby. So guys, we'll see you there. Thank you so much for joining. Go subscribe over on the Rob Seema's YouTube channel. Make some freaking money with this man. See you later. Have a good one.